One of the big ideas in my presentation is that uh, this is an area of surprising cooperation with China. The United States, the we in the sentence, has trouble cooperating with China in space, but we've had surprising level of cooperation in the civil nuclear power area. China has enormous plans for the development of civil nuclear power. This is a plant in Zhejiang. Uh, China has up to date about 14 uh, reactors, uh, power reactors underway, a remarkable safety uh, record. Uh, but China is going to expand uh, enormously in the future. And as this chart shows, it'll go from somewhere about 14, 15 reactors now to perhaps 160 reactors by 2040. Uh, this isn't going to be, however big China's nuclear program is, not the silver bullet for global warming. Uh, almost under any imaginable scenario, China's going to be combusting probably twice as much coal approximately in 2040 as it is now. China, if it's going to build out this program, is going to have to put these plants somewhere. They're concentrated, as this map shows, along the coast, but they're going to have to move in inland. And the bottom line is there is no convenient place in China to put a nuclear power plant. This is a population density map. The current uh, plants are sited along the darker red area, but they're going to move eventually inland. And these are areas of tremendous population. There are also water constraints and so forth. You have the not in my backyard kind of uh, phenomenon. Uh, already we can see in Taiwan with three operative plants and a fourth uh, underway, uh, massive demonstrations for Taiwan uh, ongoing. China's National uh, Development and Resource uh, Commission uh, has already issued uh, guidelines for uh, risk assessment studies before plants are uh, located. Other risks are of course geologic. This is a seismic map. Basically the darker the color, the bigger the risk. Where China's going to have to put these plants has substantial seismic risk and tsunami risk, although less in China along the coast. Whole other issue is where do you put the waste? I asked a Chinese, I've done a lot of interviewing on this, asked a Chinese, where are you going to put this? The answer was out west. And of course, that was in some sense the American answer as well. This is a Nevada storage site. China essentially has the same uh, methodology. If you ask, well, what's out west in China? All the dots are essentially minority ethnic. It's a concentration of the uh, minority and ethnic population in China. This is going to create some uh, local uh, difficulties, political and otherwise, and also their brothers across the Central Asian borders will have their concerns as well. There's also the safety concern. Fukushima was mentioned earlier. Uh, it had a massive impact on popular thinking, I think, in China, uh, selling out of masks and iodine. Con concern right now in China about the leakage of uh, uh, radioactive material from Fukushima. Uh, so lots of security concerns. As a result of that, the government here has acted with prudence and responsibility. Ability. It did uh, halt uh, temporarily the uh, uh, construction of new plants. But what you can see in this chart also is that the uh, proposals for continued numbers of plants are going up even though construction has uh, temporarily uh, been halted, at least on new plants. Another result of the Fukushima problem was you can see pre-Fukushima, China, relatively speaking, didn't have many inspectors per reactor. Uh, the United States is in the middle with a lot. China boosted it substantially, but it's still below what I would think are good standards. China has a problem in the policy making system. Uh, it hasn't passed, it's been trying to pass an atomic energy law since the 1980s and hasn't succeeded. Part of it has to do with this, uh, this chart. The red boxes are what I'd call pro-nuclear growth uh, 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 bureaucracies, the green ones, environment and health. And basically the environment and health boxes in the uh, chart are weaker than the pro-growth ones. Another whole issue is where's China going to find uranium? Uh, China's on a hunt for it in Namibia, Kazakhstan, 
developing relations with Australia. The U.S. has some concerns about that, but there's a global trade, some of which is subterranean in uranium. That's a security problem. And then you get to the security problem, and you have the post-9-11 hardening of plants. So I think China would itself say that it isn't as far along on that as it uh, should be. Uh, and you also have the question of export of plants. China sees the development of nuclear power plants as an export opportunity and is exporting to Pakistan and has its eyes on Latin America as well. So it, the, the proliferation issue is also involved. So the long and the short of it really is, is there's going to be a tug of war in China between the forces that see the dangers of this versus the built-in stronger bureaucracies that uh, I think see the benefits uh, commercial and otherwise.